183 million acres of the U.S. are under corn and soy production. Most of these farms rely on heavy use of pesticides, fertilizers, herbicides, and tilling, which ends up causing extensive damage to the soil, not to mention the farmer's pocketbook. Every year, farmers' margins get tighter and tighter as input costs rise, prices stay flat, and weather becomes more chaotic. But what's the alternative? Adam York and Brad Hobrock were two farmers who were fed up with the cost and damage from chemical farming. So they reached out to soil biologist Todd Harrington to see how they could repair their soil and protect their livelihood. So this is what basically an invasive. You know, being a fifth generation uh, farmers, you could tell that they were pretty much done with the chemicals and they were very willing to learn. They didn't want to cut corners from the beginning and that had the ability to make it happen. Todd, Brad, and Adam created a five-year plan to convert their entire farm over 35,000 acres from GMO chemical ag to biological treatments. Our wheat species that we are fighting are changing. If you look at the wheat spectrum today, especially from a conventional perspective, our water hemp's, our pig weeds, our mare's tail, we're not really fighting those anymore. And it's because we've changed the soils. We actually combat it from the regenerative approach because it is the biology and the soil biology that actually controls what weed species will also fight. Over a few years, Adam and Brad used Todd's vermicompost and extract systems on small plots until they saw the results they were looking for. And then they started to scale up. You know, they got a great crew of guys. It's amazing how much they've evolved and progressed. When I was here last, it was just a big shell. It's like, wow. They got a, this brand new, beautiful facility, state-of-the-art operation. Using Todd's systems, AgroBio is able to create tens of thousands of gallons of compost extract per day from vermicompost grown on site. In a single day, microbridge compost can be extracted on site and applied across thousands of acres with sprayers or fertigation. This setup probably does about 1,800 gallons in an hour. Think of this whole setup as like a large coffee maker and we're just gonna extract the compost into a liquid. So here we have the solid, which is the vermicompost, which we really see it as really high quality material. In about a half hour to 45 minutes, I can make between 1,500 and 1,800 gallons. This is a continuous setup, so I could just keep making it and making it, making it. One day, we can make 10,000 gallons in one cycle, and if you have a second shift, then you can actually double that number, which we've done 20,000 gallons in a day. When you're dealing with the scale that we're dealing with here in acreage, you need to be able to produce 20,000 gallons in a day. The extract systems they used started to see massive benefits. Nitrogen was able to be cut by 80%. They were able to transition to non-GMO seed. They even cut the use of Roundup entirely. Across thousands of acres, this added up to a million dollars or more in savings. We have cases where we have cut $200 an acre in input costs. We need, as an industry, we need to focus more on profitability. And that's a huge asset to what this brings because it allows us to cut back on certain uh, products or certain inputs that we can. Though the system has a ways to go, they're going in the right direction and showing that biology can work and work profitably on a large scale. If we can leave the ground better than what we have gotten it for the next generation, growing healthier food, you can make some pretty awesome strides. With biological systems, we're showing the world we can grow better plants, restore the soil and the ecology of the land, and protect our livelihoods at the same time. There are a lot of people that want us to fail, and we're not going to. Join the biological revolution. Sign up for a soil consultation today.